Good morning. Good morning. I feel like what happened to me yesterday, I should just make a video and talk to everyone about it really quick so that they can understand what happened. Because when you tell people, um, I was a victim of armed robbery, they're... Uh, I'm not sure what type of life other people have had. Um, so, like, it might be more shocking to them. Because I've been a victim of a robbery before, 10 years ago in Oakland. Um, me and my friend had stopped at a stop sign. And um, two guys, like, approached the side of my car door. And one guy approached her car door. And they pulled me out and beat me up. And I ended up in the hospital for three days. So, this is, like not that something completely different so still like i don't even know if like traumatizing just very like why me like the fuck i don't be bothering anybody like i wasn't even bothering y'all so i don't know how i got chosen how we got chosen how so i felt like i'll just like tell you guys what happened because it seemed very like cinematic like i feel like i've heard about this type of stuff all happening before all over the news so um i recently moved to la um to do a kind of like extended stay to see if i like the city because i've been moving around a lot and uh being an online content creator you can live literally anywhere you want to and as long as your internet is good so um, I moved to LA to try it out. Um, so I have like a rental car that has like out of state tags and, um, you know, I'm like living in a, um, like extended day type of place. So I'm not sure if any of that indicated for me to be like a robbery victim or something, but I left from my house yesterday, um, to go to the dispensary, uh, because, one of the very nice things about California is that weed is legal and you can buy them at stores like little, they look like convenience stores that are all just about weed. So um, I left for my house yesterday to go buy weed. And because I have um, this one store that I, I've gone there maybe like three or four times because they have like, always the brand I want, always like the type of thing I want. I usually get like pre-rolls and maybe like a vape cart and I don't know, some loose flowers. So I don't really tend to get a lot, but because I have a veteran discount for weed um, at every dispensary I go to because I'm a veteran, a lot of my friends will ask to come with me so that they can use their discount or ask me to go with them so that they can use a discount if we're gonna like hang out or smoke or whatever. So I went to the dispensary yesterday with someone else. I was not alone when I was a victim of this armed robbery. So me and my friend went into the dispensary, picked out all of our things. And when we were leaving, when we were deciding to check out of the dispensary, everyone put the stuff in my order so that I would have to pay for it because we were going to gonna get, gonna get a discount. So I'm sure maybe the amount of things that we were eating or eating, the amount of things that we were buying or something looked like a lot of weed or maybe looked like we had money or something. But when we left the dispensary, we got in the car and we start driving toward the freeway so we can come back home. And I make it a few blocks away from the dispensary. And when I notice the freeway is packed up, I go through the neighborhoods of Los Angeles because if you're from here or you know um, how to get around here, you don't always have to take the freeway. So I start going through a neighborhood and I maybe make it one to two blocks into this neighborhood and a person in a silver BMW rear ends me. Not super hard, um, but hard enough to where it makes a crunching sound and to where like I need to stop and assess the damage. So I'm in the driver's seat of my rental car and my passenger is in the passenger seat and they 
look, make eye contact with the person who just rear-ended me, and the person tries to go around the corner to the side and flee the scene. So I'm assuming this is an uninsured driver. We've passed many laws in California to make it so that people would not do hit and run so that we wouldn't have so many uninsured drivers. I think Florida is a state that has driving laws. I cannot get this black. I need it to mix. It is activated charcoal. Um, so I thought, okay, an uninsured driver has hit me. Um, they're going to try to flee the scene. So, like, let's get their license plate. So we followed them maybe, like, one block down the road to try to get their license plate. And they stop abruptly. Like, out of nowhere, their car stops. And I'm like, oh, okay, they're not fleeing the scene. So as I'm putting the car in park and I'm, like, putting my phone away because they're not fleeing the scene, my passenger gets out of the passenger side of the car and their passenger in the front gets out of the passenger side of the car. So I'm thinking the passengers will talk to each other and they'll deal with this. Or I'll have to get out and talk to the passenger and get the driver's information or whatever. So my passenger is out of the car, their passenger is out of the car, and I hear their passenger say, we're so sorry, I didn't, we didn't mean to hit you, we were just trying to go around and weren't careful enough. And I turn and I look and my passenger and their passenger are almost back to my open passenger side door that they had gotten out to look at the accident. And two young men from another vehicle, it wasn't from the silver BMW because I'm looking at the silver BMW. So two men from another vehicle run out and young like 15 maybe 16 years old very very young run out of another car that had been following us behind the silver bmw with guns drawn and point them at my passenger like point them at the passenger point both of them at my passenger and my passenger decides to turn around and lean back into the passenger side seat of the car as the young men have the guns pointed and are yelling, this is a robbery, just give us everything that you have. And as my passenger is leaning back in the passenger side door, they're yelling at me, go in reverse, get away, drive away. All right, well, I put the car in drive and they're silver bmw is blocking me in and i'm panicking and they're leaning on me because they're trying to fight off these people who have guns pointed at them and are kicking their guns so that their guns are not pointed in the car or pointed at us and then i have to hit like change the car from drive which is the far farthest down one to reverse and put it forward and not put it in neutral and then i have to reverse down a neighborhood in the middle of East Los Angeles. Why? Why? This is not... I'm not Jason Statham. This ain't the fucking uh, transporter. I don't have... This is not Fast and the Furious. I'm not Paul Walker. I don't have that skill. Driving... Rever you said reverse away from gunfire down the street as fast as I can. Where they got training school for this? I'll go. I'll go. But we didn't, I didn't get that. I didn't get that in the high school I went to. So I reversed down the street as fast as I can, trying to avoid everything. Thank God there was no other cars in the street. The young men, at first when I hit reverse, if you ever reverse a car as fast as you can, come to find out, um, they don't go backwards immediately. They um kind of like, I think because people accidentally put stuff in reverse or, you know, there's like a jolt or like a stop or like it mitigates you from being able to slam down the gas in reverse for like a small second. So as I'm doing that, my passenger is kicking them and we're starting to roll in reverse a little bit. 
and the young men are running with the car because they think that the car um that i'm doing it to scare them or they don't take it with the seriousness that it is so the car starts to roll backwards and then i start to go backwards very very fast and they start running after with the gun drawn like this like and my passenger said yes because they had extended clips on the on them so they weren't able to hold the guns normally but uh all from and i hadn't gone anywhere but my house to the dispensary and i was leaving the dispensary to go get food so I hadn't even stopped at a gas station. I hadn't stopped at a liquor store. Nowhere else. And the car is very like nondescript and basic and like. So I'm pretty sure that they followed us from the dispensary, that they saw us in the dispensary buying what we were buying and then decided to um victimize us because we probably look like easy victims or people who are from out of town or maybe somebody who's like never gone through this before um but it was definitely not something i was expecting i was not hurt or injured at all and they did not get anything so um but like who the heck why are there young kids running around LA with BMWs and driving fast cars, running into people and then like trying to arm robber them after they get out to check for insurance? Like that seems like a movie. Like I feel like I've seen that in like a movie before. So I don't know. It was just a crazy, crazy, crazy night. Try to get but you gotta steal my baby Jeters. What do you want from me? I didn't. It's not even like I have cash on me or anything. You're gonna steal a rental car, like. Um, but yeah, I just figured I would come and tell, make a video and tell y'all what happened, because. Shit's crazy. It was just very shocking. It was very shocking to have that happen. Cold press. Hmm. Okay, it doesn't even taste bad. It really does just taste like apple juice with lemon. This says this is... This is called Black Detox. Organic Granny Smith apples, organic lemon, organic ginger, activated charcoal. Consume within 24 hours after opening. I got you, boo. To drink this whole thing. Ugh. Very tart. This was in broad daylight. This was at about 4.30, 4.40 p.m. yesterday. In the middle of the day. Um, in the middle of a neighborhood. And... Um, Broad daylight, families saw this. I, There was for sure one other vehicle on the street that was not involved in this because a, a man I could see when I was reversing down the street, he was just like this, like looking. And then there was like women and children on the street, like walking. So fortunately, they did not shoot their weapons, which um, during, during a robbery, like, you don't want to kill somebody that it, it, I would assume that if your intent was to kill someone, then um, we would have been very, it would have been a very different situation. So fortunately, they didn't want anything but to rob us. Maybe their guns jammed. Maybe they um, didn't have any bullets. Maybe they were young. Who knows why you get blessed or what fortunate things happen for you to not be a victim like this could be a very different story like if they had let off their weapons at all or like I wasn't with the company that I was with and that I wasn't the person that I was like 
this could have been like I was robbed of my car and my valuables and assaulted like you know what I mean so it's just you're fortunate for everything like maybe the broad daylight is why they didn't shoot and maybe the other people on the street were why they didn't shoot maybe their guns jam maybe they're young and they don't have good guns so like I don't know but the shit was fucking crazy and I'm so fortunate that like the people that I be with are time like ready on time and ready because man if I was with some people who had never been through that and they really had just given the, the people their shit like damn so now we all just victims all right cool so yeah like like you said maybe they that's why I'm assuming they weren't shooters they're chill they look like children like 15 16 like they look young like very young it's like the fuck is y'all doing like y'all not about to get us like what bro get out of here get out of here so you know what i'm saying like maybe they realize they fucked up through the craziness like it could have happened all of a sudden that they hit our car and maybe they were just going somewhere together. Maybe it was just a group of kids that was on their way together and they were like, hey, we hit these people. Like, who knows? Maybe it was like four friends in two cars and the two friends were like, hey, we just hit these people and we don't have insurance. And they're like, well, we can get out of it by robbing them. You know what I mean? Like, maybe they thought that, but... It seemed very like likely that they followed us from the dispensary. Because why would it be our car? Unless it was a pure accident and then they panicked and tried to get out of it and just came up with this robbery on the spot and aren't good, at, aren't weren't planning on robbing people, aren't supposed to be, you know, risking their lives and other people's lives like that. Like, that is crazy. So... So, I don't know. Yeah, like, opportunity is stupidity, so. That's why I'm like, either it was targeted and planned, like, they came from the dispensary, they saw us inside of the dispensary, or outside, or somebody from the dispensary, you know, tipped them off or something. Because, like, a lot of shady stuff happens out in LA. So, it's not un... It's not out of the realm to believe that, like, the people at the dispensary are um, watching people or see, like, oh, hey, these people paid with this amount of money or they took this amount of things. Like, you never know who, like, the dispensary owners have to do a tremendous job on background checking people. And, like, it's hard to be a dispensary owner because anybody could be trying to rob you or your customers. So it's like they can't know who the staff was or what their intention was and how they were, like, supposed to protect us like that. And so they have armed security at their dispensary. But when you leave from there, uh, they, like, if you're not, if it's not on the property, and I'm sure even if it's not, like, immediately outside, they can't do anything for you, so... So, shit's crazy. Stay safe. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do or what's best for you. Because someone like me and my mental health, like, I can't be a victim. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be, like, like, they say people have fight or flight. So, if you're, like, a flight person then the two the things that are would work for me is not going to work for you. So, I don't know how to tell other people how to have the best reaction in this situation. I did what's best for me in a life or death situation with guns pointed at me and the people around me did what was best for them. So, this is not to like tell other people to do the same thing or to um 
encourage people to like mimic behavior like you need to whatever your fight or flight tells you to do when you're in a life or death situation that's what you need to do because your body is hopefully programmed to protect you um and know what your capabilities are so it's not to not to tell anyone to like defend yourself you know what i mean like if you cannot defend yourself do not defend yourself because anything could have happened and i'm literally lucky that they didn't fire their weapons i'm lucky nobody else was on the street i'm lucky that my come like my friend was like the way that the the passenger could have fumbled that whole ball and my fight or flight wouldn't have mattered so it's not to tell anybody, you know, what they're supposed to do in a life or death situation, but I've been in these situations enough times that um, my natural reflex has learned that, like, my mental health, like, if I don't fight for my life, living not really going to be worth it for me. So I did what I had to do, and myself and nobody else was injured so yeah not that's what i'm saying i don't think it was about me and i don't think that they knew anything and i just want to um i just want to put this one thing out there while i wrap up this story um i had to call the uh police to make a police report because of the damage to a rental car if it was my car i wouldn't have um probably called the police at all because it's not anything they can do for them but um one thing that was really sad like really really sad during the whole interaction was that when we called the police my passenger didn't want to speak to them didn't want to um, was pretty much like in shock from the whole thing of having guns drawn and like being in a life and death situation and they didn't really want to speak to the police so um when the police interacted with me it was like well, do you think that they had anything to do with this do you think that they knew and because they're black like my passenger is black they the police treated them like they had something to do with the robbery do they have any um do they know anyone in la do they have any affiliation and i said we're content creators like we're business owners we're like artists like they are not like it was so it was like to be a victim of a crime and then to be accused as if you had something to do with it in some way like are you serious right now like, the only way you would have been happy or something is if people were dead or there was, like, some... Ser like, because I just imagined if my brother and his wife, who are, like, two white people who have a baby and, like, where... What is that fucking... L.L. Bean. What is that fucking company? I don't know. They were... You know what I'm saying? And it's, like, his wife doesn't have tattoos and, like, they look very you know american so it's like if they were the victims of a carjacking and miraculously got away and then to be accused of like, like do you i just couldn't have imagined them accusing my brother of like having anything to do with being a victim of his own like bad situation and i've never really like interacted with the police like that so to have to call that like I'm not really a victim of crimes ever I don't need the police like for th like so it just was very like like what I don't know so it was really sad to like 
be a victim of a crime and then have the police be like, well, could your friend have had anything to do with this? It was like, not nice, not okay. Kind of racist. I'm just gonna throw that out there. So that was more like upsetting than to be a victim of a crime honestly because you're like young and dumb and opportunity like okay I can rationalize that but police saying that you may have been responsible for something definitely terrible happening to you it's like no I can't I can't rationalize that being like I couldn't have ever fathomed that so good on them I suppose hopefully they sleep great at night like some right some people can't be a, just a pure victim you couldn't have had anything to do with something terrible happening to you like you couldn't have just been a victim like Ah, shit was crazy.